crowded airport, a busy port of entry, a security checkpoint at a military base or national laboratory, all potential targets of terrorist organizations. The safety and security of people, of cargo, and of valuable information are continually at risk. Although many types of security and surveillance are in position in the most sensitive areas, some of the most dangerous threats are the most difficult to detect, especially those hidden from view. Search dogs have long been used for their superb sense of smell to find people and substances hidden from sight. Now, however, researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory are developing an impressive alternative using an animal as sensitive to smell, smaller, and much more unobtrusive. Honeybees are nature's rugged robots. A colony can consist of 30,000 bees with roughly a quarter of those foraging daily. They have a complex communication system and can forage up to six miles from their hive. Honeybee antennae are finely tuned vapor sensors with sensitivity thresholds of parts per trillion, comparable to dogs. Bioscience division scientists at Los Alamos have studied how the bees use their tongues as sensitive detection instruments. This process is called a proboscis extension reflex, or PER. They only use their tongues for feeding and not for any other reason. With Pavlovian techniques, the bees are trained to stick out their tongues as a conditioned response to explosives vapors. This technique has been further developed into a prototype detection platform system so bees can be used to detect explosives in trucks, on people, at checkpoints, and over water. Honeybees are collected from hives which can be maintained indoors or outdoors. Once in the lab, the bees are cooled to slow down their movement for handling purposes. Individual bees are then removed from the storage container and secured into reusable harnesses. First, we let the bees get used to their new environment, allowing them about 30 minutes to acclimate. Next, the bees are tested for their ability to stick out their tongues by giving them sugar water on the tip of a cotton swab. That's the purr. The bees that can purr are then trained to purr when they smell a certain scent. Training involves giving them a six-second burst of an explosive vapor with the last three seconds, including a sugar water reward on a cotton swab. After four rounds of training, bees that purr voluntarily after receiving the scent are used in the field. To use the bees in the field, we place them in a prototype detection platform. Three bees are placed into the unit at a time. The unit pulls air into the interior of the box and over the bees. A camera is mounted inside and an image of their heads can be seen on a computer screen. When the bees detect the scent in which they have been trained, a specific explosive, they purr. That is an unambiguous sign of detection of that particular explosive. In August of 2005, Members of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, the U.S. Southern Command, and the Marines arrived at Los Alamos to observe a field test of this explosives detection unit. The demonstration included three scenarios in which the bees were exposed to real-life situations and expected to detect the explosives in each. First, the bees were tested on TNT in a box, a curbside explosive scenario. Then, in a terrorist scenario, the C-4-trained bees were held up to a clean vest, and then a C-4-packed vest. Finally, a checkpoint scenario was conducted testing a clean SUV, and then an SUV filled with both C-4 and TNT. You can see all three C-4-trained bees giving positive hits via the purr response to the C4 in the vehicle. All right. yeah, there, oh, wow. there you go, now they're going. So. Researchers at Los Alamos have shown that this detection platform can be used to detect explosives in the lab and in the field. We are currently studying the proteins in the smarter bees to determine if there are ways to improve the bees' ability to detect 
be trained and retain their long-term memory. Some work has been done as well on studying if antennae morphology plays a role in the bee's sensitivity and training capabilities. This sensor platform can be used for explosive detection on land and over water. It has the potential to be modified to detect other scents, such as narcotics and biological threat agents. Honeybees are one of nature's most sensitive detection platforms. They are inexpensive to maintain, inexpensive to train, and self-reproducing.